These are the Cecropia caterpillars that hatched from the eggs that moth number two laid for me. There are 15 in here because all of the rest of them did not hatch. So at this point, um, I'm pretty positive that the other eggs are not going to hatch. So I think what I'm going to do is just add these guys to one of the other Cecropia enclosures. All right, so this enclosure right here is the um, Cecropia caterpillars that hatched from moth number one's eggs. So what I am going to do is clean their enclosure like I usually do. Um, and then I'm going to add the 15 caterpillars from moth number two to this enclosure. All right, so there are caterpillars on this leaf. I'm going to cut around them so that um, there isn't this big dried up looking leaf in there. For them to have to crawl over to find food. I think I just knocked a caterpillar off. Just checking all these leaves to make sure that there aren't any caterpillars on them. A lot of caterpillars molted on this leaf. It looks like everybody is off of it now. There are two on here. I want to cut around them. So 
So there's one. And the other is over here. Is on those. Oh, there is one in there, so I'm going to cut around it. Again, so that I don't have all these extra dried up leaves for them to crawl over in order to find fresh food. So I don't see anybody on that one, but I want to open it up to make sure, which will require two hands. So I'm putting it aside just for a minute while I finish removing everybody else from the enclosure. everybody else. I just see some balls of skin there from a molt. And there is a caterpillar preparing to molt up on the top. So I'm gonna remove the paper towels. And then these guys all in. All right, so they're all back in. Now it's time to add. Oh, actually, look. This caterpillar is molting right in front of me. He still has his old face cap on. He's just climbing out of his old skin right now. Oh, he just took his old face cap off. Maybe. No, I think that was his shadow. Because I still, still see the old face cap. So you can see that that black skin behind him is staying put. It's staying in place because when they prepare to molt, they lay down a bed of silk and they hold on to the silk with their legs, their feet. And then they go through this whole process inside of them and they basically detach um, their new feet from the old skin and they detach their new skin from the old skin and then um, they it, their old skin kind of splits and they squeeze their way out of it so the old skin has feet that are still holding on to the silk mat underneath them which is why I always say um, be careful not to to bother a molting caterpillar because it is very important for their old feet to stay holding on to that bed of silk. 
otherwise they won't be able to pull their new body out of their old skin. Oh, you can see he just took his old face cap off. He's pushing it away now. His new face is bright yellow right now. He's still working on squeezing out of that old skin. Once we see his, uh, his um, hind end come out, we'll know that he's finished molting. And then um, they usually will turn around and eat most of, if not all, of their old skin. But sometimes they don't eat it. taking a break. He says, I'm tired. It's hard work for them doing this. There is his hind end. So he's all done molting now. That's so cool that I was able to get that on film for you guys. So now what I'm gonna do is put the 15 caterpillars from moth number two in here. They are roughly the same size. So that's one, two, number three is right here preparing to malt, four, five, both look like they're preparing to malt. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is also preparing to molt. Eleven is preparing to molt. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen are definitely preparing to molt. And number 15. So all of those get to go in here. And I'm going to open up a bag of food and start giving them some fresh food. to inspect the leaves. Just making sure that I'm not anchoring the branch on a caterpillar. So 
So I used to think that these red bugs right here were spiders. Um, but after doing some research, I learned that they are clover mites. They look like spiders, but they're actually clover mites. Um, I still don't want it in the enclosure, so I had to get rid of it. All right, I don't see anything else on these that looks harmful. So that's plenty for them.